Hi friends, welcome back to another Brandy and Jack's Excellent, Excellent Reviews. Reviews. Today we've got another Mountain Dew, the Fruit Quake. Uh. And this one has a blast of artificial fruit cake flavor. Mm. That's my favorite type of, of fruit cake flavor. How about yourself? Yeah. When's the last time you've had fruit cake, Brandy? I don't think I've ever had a fruit cake. Have you? Uh, I have. Uh, I believe I was a kid at my grandmother's house at Christmas time. Yeah. And I don't think I liked it. It sounds so, like it'd be right up my alley. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if it was a it's a spice cake or just like a, a pound cake with some candied fruit pieces in there. I don't know about the cake itself, but I'm mm -hmm. excited about the candied but, fruit yeah. pieces. We need to get one for the um. Christmas Possibly. holidays. Yeah. You know, people, I guess people either either love it or hate it. Not much in between. I'm sure most of the people that love it are, you know, 87 plus years of age. <laughs> so, we know Jack's a fan of Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. I am not. I do. I like most of the Mountain Dew flavors that come out with. I'm sorry. I don't think I've found one that I've enjoyed. Hmm. Hmm. So, let's give this a um, go. Can I take a look at the bottle? Oh, yes, you All may. Right. All right. This is 270 calories. 72 grams of sugar. Are you trying to cut back on sugar? That's a lot. It is. It's quite a bit. We can add more if you'd like. Yes. Right. Let's add some brown sugar. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Has what? a nice... Uh, what is this? Is that a fruit cake? That is a... Looks like a round fruit cake on there. Oh. Fruit cake. Yep. I don't know. Maybe yeah. if I had my glasses on, I could see what Seems the stuff Seems to have was. a nice, uh, nice cranberry type color to it. I'm yeah. sure there probably are cranberry pieces in the fruit cake, don't you think? Oh, I'd have to assume oh, so. Absolutely, there are. Maybe someone can let us know in the comments. Yeah. Do you fruit cake experts out there? Oh. Hmm. It's got a nice scent. You can definitely smell the Mountain Dew underneath, oh. but the it's a perfumey smell. It's got a little smell. bit. Yeah, it's very perfumey. It has mm -hmm. a little bit of a. I don't want to say pine, but some sort of a spice flavor to it. Is that Almost a, like when you walk into a... A Christmas store? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say uh, Bath and Body Works, and you kind of get hit in the face with all their holiday candles in that. Bed, bath no, and... No, Bath and Body Works. Badass Grandma's? Is, is that that would store? be my store. Okay. All right, I'm going to try this. Okay. Glug, glug, glug. Oh. Yeah. Try it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't like it. It's not something I would drink again. It's. I was not expecting that flavor at all. I was. I was expecting a more fruity flavor, and this has a, a weird spice. The upfront flavor I really enjoy, mm -hmm. but as with a bunch of these gimmicky pops, you get, you get hit with the aftertaste. You get a pine. Yeah, there's a pine there's flavor a pine in there. there. Yeah. See, I'm not smelling the yeah. pine, yeah. but I definitely taste yeah, it. Almost like if you took a code red Mountain Dew and poured it over some ice cold pine cones, perhaps. All right. That's not the worst Mountain hmm. Dew I've ever had. Really, it's I, it's one of the worst. Now, I know a lot of you are saying to yourselves, Jack, Brandy, where is the Goblet of Rock? Where is the where, Goblet of Rock? Where did it go? Where? Why hasn't it been on the channel in a yeah. while? Yeah. Well, the Goblet of Rock is just hanging out. It's chilling <laughs> in the <laughs> freezer right now. So we thought we'd bring out the Goblet of Rock's best friend. And making uh, its first appearance on the channel is the... Michigan Rock. Rock. University of Michigan fighting... Harbaugh's Mug of Rock. Mug of Rock. It's the Mug of Rock, yes. I like it's it. It's frosty. Can you see the frost? You see the Michigan right there? And uh, go blue. And it's big. It's big. Oh, it's big. God, it's big. Oh, oh God, it's big. All right. Are you pouring or am I? I'm going to pour. Okay. Can you? Okay. Here we go. Pour it into the frosty. Oh, it's... it's it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh, color. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, unless you're going to drink all that. I hate. Does someone have to always spoil my... I'm sorry. Mug of Rock or Goblet of Rock experience? No, I'm liking this experience. I didn't try ruining it. I just didn't want you to pour all the pop. Randy, Debbie Downer called. She said, can you be some more... Can you be more upbeat, please? Oh, my God. I mean, you know, and Debbie Downer... 
Yeah, she's not a positive person. All right, would you like to be the first to... Uh... No! Okay, all right, here. Cheers, here's to ya. Mazel tov, Nostrovia, Gizmo. You know what? I believe the mug of rock has taken away some of the bad aftertaste. It's still bad, <laughs> but it's not nearly as bad. Is it better out of the mug of rock? No. I believe it is. It really accentuates that pine flavor. The positive? It, the smell is nicer out of this. Mm -hmm. However, However, the taste is better out of the bottle. I would disagree. All right, you ready? Would you ever drink it again? I would not. not I would not. Again. I would not either. No. What did we pay for this? Uh, I want to say that was uh, on special two for four, uh, the Mountain Dew or the, did you uh, get the Pepsi two? products. I got a Code Red Mountain Dew. Well, where's with, that one? That's in my belly. In your belly? In my belly. Okay. It's probably in the sewer system right now, but... I, like I think it. I'm having an allergic reaction to this. So You probably are. No, I think I am. For reals? Yeah. Hmm, okay. Well, let's wrap this up before, <laughs> before we fall out over there. All right? Okay. All right. What's your rating out there, B? I'm going to give it a three and a half. Three and a half? Okay. I'm going to give it a two. It's not good. Really? Yeah, it's not wow. good. I, I wouldn't drink it. I wouldn't. I would just pass it out. I uh, wouldn't drink it at all. So two for me. So way, way, way down. I'm, I'm, I'm going down. down too, but I'm saying yeah. buy one, give it a try. Yeah. What I'm the not, heck? I'm not going to finish this bottle. Are you no. going to? No, I'm not. No, I'll probably give it to the dogs and get them all hopped up on Mountain Dew. What does yeah. that little kid say? I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. That's right. If you're not first, you're last. Ricky Booby. All right. So before my face swells, because I feel it happening, thanks for joining us for another review. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing. Wait, what's so funny? I, I just, I, I just, I'm anticipating the swelling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be atop Dew Mountain looking down on swollen brandy. Are my lips swelling? Oh, my. Feel like oh, they are. oh, goodness. You better pop a Viagra. No. <laughs> <laughs> swelling. No, that don't do that. <laughs> what is that? Uh, what's the stuff that they, they put in your chest like when you're. Happy pen. When, yeah, you need an effing. <laughs> Effing, you need an effing pen is what you need. Not an effing. Effing. Epi. Oh, I like, I prefer the effing pen. I prefer the effing pen too. Okay. All right. All right. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Have yourself a good day. Until next time. Uh, take care of yourselves and uh, enjoy Each life. other. Each other. Enjoy life.